It's Christmas Eve 2020, and I thought I'd do a little video talking about Christmas tree light bulbs, specifically the red tip light bulbs that blink. I'm sure you've seen these bulbs before. They're each 2.5 volts, and in order to get to 120 volts, you connect them in series. Since they're series connected, the loss of any one bulb results in the loss of all bulbs. At this point, we're going to replace one of the bulbs. It doesn't matter which one. But we're going to replace one of the bulbs with a red tipped bulb. And you'll see that that blinks the entire string. Effectively, the red tip bulb is a switch, a switch that turns on and off. And again, because all the bulbs are in series, all of the bulbs will turn on and off at the same time. If we zoom in, you can see that that red tip bulb has a different internal structure than the rest. You can see that there's a third element. A large, flat blade is in the middle. That's called a bimetallic strip, and it is the switch element. This is a close-up picture of that red tipped bulb. The first thing you'll notice is the filament. You'll also notice the two wires entering the bulb. They enter through this glass seal here, and then they go to this glass bead. The last thing you'll notice is this bimetallic strip. You'll see the filament connected here, but at the bottom, it's just anchored in the glass. It's physically anchored. It's not electrically connected. The electrical connection is via this wire right here at this point. To make this a bit easier to see, Let's go ahead and highlight the various wires inside the bulb. In blue, we have the two wires that enter the bulb. And in green, we have the bimetallic strip. Again, it's anchored in this glass, physically anchored, but it's not electrically connected. The electrical connection is on this switch contact. Now, the way a bimetallic strip works is there's two different types of metal. And when it heats up, it bends. So in this particular case, when this strip heats up, again, the filament's connected to it and there's current flowing through it. So when this thing heats up, it's going to move in a counterclockwise direction. It's going to move to the left. When it does that, it opens up the switch contact. Of course, as soon as it does that, it's going to cool off. As it cools off, it returns to its original position, which is to say it moves clockwise. When it does that, it closes the switch and then the cycle repeats itself. We have this continuous heating and cooling. From a practical standpoint, if you have Christmas tree lights such as this and you want them to blink, first unplug the lights. Go ahead and remove a bulb. It doesn't matter which one you remove. So here I'm removing a random blue one. Go ahead and take that red tipped lamp and insert it into the socket. When you power on the string, give it a few seconds and it should start blinking. If you don't like the look of that red tipped lamp, go ahead and just tuck it behind and nobody will be the wiser.